we're consistently telling runners that they need to, to work on independent factors, things that get their foot to the ground sooner and stop worrying about the little things. So we have two runners here, and we're just going to show you briefly what, what we're talking about with that. Um, if I just pause this real quick and show you that independent factor model, most people sit here and they chase after these little things down here. One can be cadence, one could be landing on the toe, all these different things. But I describe these all as dependent factors. Okay. Ideally, what we'd like to do is fix the mothership up here. This factor controls everything else. So if we fix X, all the other ones fall in the line. So we want to make sure that we're, we're going after the big mothership and not spending time with all these little dinky things, one here, one here, one here. Fix the mothership, all three of these get fixed. So when we look at one of the things that we're, we constantly work with with our runners is foot placement. And foot placement has nothing to do with your actual foot, believe it or not. What we want to do is we want to look at what the knee is doing when you contact the ground. And really, the knee position is what determines everything. So if we go and we look at this guy on the right, we're going to just put a center mark on his knee here and really just watch how his foot doesn't really deviate from that line, or rather his knee doesn't really deviate. He just continues to pendulum that foot out to the front, and he doesn't ever put the foot to the ground. So this is exactly what we're talking about with most runners, is that you can try to fix this foot, but it's a dependent factor. The, the reason why it's like that is because the knee went straight. So what we like to see is that the foot goes to the ground sooner, gives you better shock absorption, gives you the, uh, a better ability to to kind of get through and, and really maximize your ability to, to decrease your braking forces and increase your shock absorption. So we see this younger runner on the other side coming through, and we talked about this with the other guy. His knee over here stopped, and his foot just pendulum out the front. So what we're going to see with this guy on the other side is that his knee stops and his foot's going to pendulum, but it's going to come straight to the ground rather than fully extending itself out. So as he comes through, he gets to here. On the other view, we saw him kick out to the front. We're just going to watch that shin come straight to the ground. So as he comes through, look at how that foot comes through and goes down. Rather than on the other side, we saw the foot comes through and goes out. So that's a, that's a big delineation. It, they're pretty much the same. You know, they're running at different speeds, but they're pretty much the same at this point. The difference is his foot's coming down. I'll show you again in a minute. His foot's going forward. So we always talk about the knee is what we want to fix, not necessarily the foot and ankle. It's not the primary driver for what you're looking to do. And then look at how his foot comes down. The other guy's comes out. That's the big difference here. Foot needs to come down and not kick out to the front.